Yo, what's up, it's Josh and welcome back. We're playing some more FIFA 14 Korean World with Chelsea FC. So getting into this episode here, we're up against Norwich City. Now, they are a really tough team in real life, and I think they'll give us a good game. So one thing I didn't concentrate on the past FIFAs is morale. Now, I think morale does affect the game massively, and that's why I'm concentrating a lot on it this year. But I can't really game seem to get the morale in my strikers up because you know I've got f quite a good section of strikers and I'm only playing one up front so it's quite hard to get them all good games but I'll try my hardest to get them all to the full morale. So in the 47th minute here Maria is with a lovely little shot and he gets that into the back and there what a goal from him the b young Brazilian getting in there and I think that was a superb goal from him. It says the 49th minute but I'm pretty sure it was the 47th minute wasn't it? But uh, yeah I love the strike from him because in the first half I really struggled because I tried to do through balls which I shouldn't have been doing and the last man would cut out and it was really hard for me to get the opportunities to get on goal and try and get a goal. But Kevin De Bruyne swings one in and picks out the lovely Eto there in the 68th minute and that's his first BPL goal this season for us and uh, yeah it could turn out to be one two maybe goals he could score more or he could score 20 to 30 you never know because that could give him a massive amount of confidence to go on and score heaps of goals which I hope that would be the case but um, that would be quite annoying because I would be playing him a lot and uh, you know the fact of the matter is I've got a lot of strikers so Varane here, I think that I've studied him enough and I think that he's a good player and I really want him and I inquired about him and apparently they went 22.5 million for him. Now, is that good? I think it's a good enough deal. I think I'll take it. I might buy him in the January transfer window if I've got money. I don't think I have really got that much money, but you never know. The year. But this is the BPL table. Spurs are first and they've got a game in hand, but we're eighth, but we've also got a game in hand. We can go right up to the top four if we win this game, but... It's not going to be an easy game, guys. We're up against Everton. Now, Everton in real life won against us. And, you know, they're a really good team. You know, we were the only team to beat them last year. They beat us this year. And, you know, I feel like we should be able to take at least a point out of this. I'd be happy if we took a point. But three points seems a bit far-fetched because they are a really strong team. And I can't, I can't picture... I can't... I can't seem to figure out how they're this strong, but they're not in, like, the Champions League, you know what I mean? But in the ninth minute here, Bertrand, who I gave him a shot, he passes the hazard, he takes a shot, and it was a, you know, it was a okay shot. I really thought he should have scored there, but we swing one in straight after, and JT is there, and the goalkeeper, no chance, and I was really, really happy because, you know, Everton are a tough team. And to score against them early on is a really good sign of what's come with this team. Because I have, uh, I don't know, I feel like I was really dominating Everton. So we get another opportunity here in the 23rd minute. Hazel going all the way and he strikes it into the back of the net in the 24th minute. And that was a superb strike. And look at this scoreline. We're up 2-0 against Everton. That is massive. Because... Everton are a strong team. I think they're one of the strongest last season, and I think they're even stronger this season in real life. But look at this, we'll get a lovely opportunity here in Signe. Can he get a goal here? Can he? He hits it, and he smashes it into the back of the net. No problem from him. And he's really been saying that his morale, well, his morale right now is really, really high. And I really thought it would be low because I haven't been playing him much, but he's um, extremely happy at the club so far. So I'm thinking, damn. You know, because I, I, at least I've got like people like scoring, you know. Ettles just scored now, and Singley scored. But look at that. Osmond in the 79th minute. How did that go in? Czech was absolutely going mental. He was saving so many shots during this game. And he lets this one in. That was poor goalkeeping. He was doing a beast during this game. I'm not even kidding you. If I showed all the shots that Everton took, they were really extremely good shots and they should have scored. But that's how it ended. 3-1. to one. We take up a, a victory here. And to score three goals against them in a pretty damn even game. At least the possession was to them. And we took a bit more shots than them. But uh, yeah, we managed to get three points from him. But I'm looking at this. One Mata is reported that he is homesick. What do I do, guys? Do I, I'm thinking that I should... Just, you know, put him on the bench, let him have time to think to himself, you know what I mean. Or should I just, like, end up selling him in the January transfer window? He hasn't been doing the best, but I don't want to sell him because he is a really good player. And I think that he'll be extremely good once he gets uh, out of his home sickness. 
But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you all next time.